Hey guys, Leviathan Prime here. Uh, look, I just wanted to address something. I've been asked multiple times over the last couple months to make a series of tutorials. Uh, well, I have agreed to do an LED tutorial sometime after I get done with Momocon this month. Um, just to give you a heads up, I've been asked to do scribing tutorials, painting tutorials, airbrushing, weathering tutorials. Guys, that's not me. I do not sit around and shoot a ton of footage and then go back and narrate it. It just doesn't work. That's not how I teach. Um, I do want to let you know that if you have any specific questions at all, um, or you feel like you need someone to just touch base with, you can get in touch with me on comments, DMs, reach out to me on Discord, whatever. That's all fine. Um, but I am today going to point you guys to YouTube and show you some of the resources that I've learned from personally, things that I apply all the time. Um, I am not the kind of expert that you want making you tutorials. I'm the guy you want to go to to say like, hey, you've done this. Tell me how this works. No problem. Um, so I'm going to start with today is this is Studio G. Uh, he did a great tutorial on basically anything you would need to know for scribing. He walks through it. He explains it all as he goes. This is what I consider a good tutorial. Um, then we have Robbie Pla. They have some of the absolute best examples of how they go through doing uh, panel line mo panel line creation, part modification, part fabrication. People talk about using plot plate. We all know it's really just sheet styrene, right? Okay. This guy is probably the best at doing this. So his uh, videos are not in English, it's Korean, and it, it doesn't matter. It comes across. The translations aren't really that important. It's just showing his work. It's all in there. Um, and then we have Frosted Snow. Uh, she does a great job explaining a lot of processes, but in particular the one that she did explaining airbrushing basics, troubleshooting problems that people have along that. Um, I will personally add to this that if you're going to get into airbrushing before you ever put paint in your airbrush, know how to disassemble it, clean it, etc. Use proper safety precautions, you know, have a mask, use ventilation. Very important stuff, guys. Um, we have Genic here. Genic shows some great, uh, beautiful high gloss metallics and thus is able to run and put a clear color over that and make amazing candy coat. Um, SLC Cat Gumpla did the same thing. There's this with Sanaju. If you look up, you know, candy coat Sanaju, you're going to find this one. Unless Barbatos Rex, just a madman when it comes to being a scientist and going out and applying paint techniques. So check them all out. I'll put